I'm Ian Tapp, and this is Bloodhorse.com's preview of the Phasic Tipton October yearling sale, brought to you by TaylorMade Sales Agency. The October sale expands to a four-day sale this year, and there are 1,485 yearlings cataloged, 20% more than last year. TaylorMade's consignment alone has nearly doubled from 55 last year to 108 yearlings for next week's sale. We talked with Mark Taylor of TaylorMade and Phasic Tipton President Boyd Browning about the larger catalog and the current climate in the marketplace. I think consigners have uh, increased confidence in the sale, primarily as a result of the sales results, the strength of results over the last two to three years. Also, the sales just built momentum. I mean, goods graduates continue to come out of this sale. Uh, it's become, rather than an afterthought, it's become a primary target for a lot of both people, both buyers and sellers. And people have just, you know, renewed confidence in the sale. And, it's reflected in the additional horses. We've had a tremendous amount of interest in this sale coming in. Uh, you know, we've got, you know, additional horses. Um, you know, do I expect the market to be up 25%? No. I think we have a pretty similar marketplace to what we've had the last couple of years. I think when we talk after the sales most nights, we're going to say there was a lot of demand for the, for the, a lot of competition for the, for the top 10 to 20% of the horses. The bottom 10 to 20% of the horses were tough, and in the middle, you better know what, you better know what you have and be very realistic and set in your reserves. That would be my kind of expectation head into next week. Yeah, our numbers have increased dramatically for the October sale this year. And uh, as we sit back as a team and kind of analyze, you know, why, what are all the factors that went into that? It, it's been kind of an interesting study. I think there's three or four components to it, really. Um, one thing is the October sale has proved itself to be a viable sale that you can sell a six-figure horse in uh, if, if the setting is right. So with that in mind, I think people enter into the July sale more um, aggressively and they know if they don't, if the horse doesn't get ready for July, which is kind of a tough task, you know, to get a yearling really at its best in July, they feel like October is a good fallback. Um, people like selling yearlings a little later because there's later foals that, that need the extra time. But for a lot of years, October was just perceived as kind of an afterthought and it was the remnants of whatever hadn't been sold and, and mainly lower level yearlings. Now that it's kind of broken through that stereotype, I think that it becomes a more viable option for late foals, regardless of pedigree, for horses that didn't make the July sale, for horses that maybe uh, had some reason they didn't make Saratoga. In general, the market for yearlings has been fair. If you talk to buyers, they're all saying, wow, it's impossible to buy a good horse. You know, there's so much competition. I got blown out of the water. And then when you talk to sellers, you're like, man, it's really thin. You know, I got a lot of mine done one bit over the reserve and it's hard to get people lined up on the same horse and get them to break out. And so, I mean, I think that says it's a fair market when nobody's really thrilled. The buyers think it's too hard and the, and the sellers think it's too easy. So I think we have a fair market. Um, I don't think, I think we're low on buyers. We need to, uh, our business, there's a lot of things going good in the business there's a lot of things that need to get better. And I think long term, you can't bury your head in the sand. I mean, there's, there's fewer people willing to pay the training bills and the upkeep racing these horses. You know, there's a lot of people in the business that are commercial players that are buying and reselling. But at the end of the day, we need more people that are willing to put the tack on them and take them to the racetrack. There's 200 and change more horses in this sale this year. Uh, that number has been going steadily up. So the big question we're all going to find out is whether the October market can handle 1,400 and some yearlings this year. Phasing Tipton in October begins Monday, October 19th. Check back on bloodhorse.com for our coverage from each session.